Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. So I suspect that this video today is not gonna be liked by a lot of people. Pretty controversial to some, uh, although others not at all. But I've kind of been on track record of doing that here lately. Um, and I mean, I could make some videos that are just popular videos to get the numbers back up and to regain some lost subscribers. But that's not why I do this. I do this to speak the truth and what the Father lays on my heart. And so this is something that's been on my mind a lot uh, for months, weeks, and things that are happening are kind of taking place. Um, at least things are being kind of lined up that could. That it could happen um, and it's controversial because you know as, as I get into this you'll know what I'm talking about when you talk about anything that seems to oppose or to disagree with what Israel does then you're just immediately you know you're anti-semitic you hate Israel you know the Bible says we're su supposed to support Israel well supporting something doesn't mean that you agree with everything they do and without going into it, there is a difference between biblical Israel and political Israel. I think most of you get that. So just because I may say something that I don't agree with what they do, does not mean that I'm some kind of anti-Semitic or anything like that. It's kind of like criticizing Black Lives Matter, the organization which all of a sudden makes you a racist. It's, it's ridiculous, and anyone that considers themselves a conservative should not fall under and fall into that kind of rhetoric. So, um, Trump's <clears throat> announced several people that will be running his, his administration. Definitely some good numbers in the, uh, good numbers in, the in, that, um, in that list, but there's a lot of people that he's going to put in his cabinet members or various other administrative personnel that have been quite open about um, not just their support of Israel, but that they think that Israel should destroy Hamas, Hezbollah, even some say Iran. Even Trump himself has talked about um, that it go in and destroy Iran. You know, a lot of infrastructure, nuclear power capabilities, that kind of thing. And while I think it's possible that the war in Russia and Ukraine could kind of start winding down in part because of Donald Trump, I think the war is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And Trump may be able to keep his promise that he won't start any new wars, but this one's already started, so that doesn't count. And it's possible that the United States at least for a while, long while, may not be directly fighting that fight. Um, there's just a lot of stuff going on, and it gets deeper than what some people may realize. There's more and more talk since Trump has taken office again, kind of like when he was in office last time, that um, Israel should, should start on the new temple. You know, it was just, I believe it was last year, maybe it was earlier this year, that um, Israel slaughtered the red heifer, which is one of the things that has to be done before the temple is is built. Um, it has many, many times by many people, many people, including really Israel themselves, that part of the reason why they are doing doing this is to bring about them, men about the kingdom, which for. The, the return of Yeshua. And basically the end times. Uh, the form, one of the former prime ministers of Israel uh, just recently made statements harshly criticizing Benjamin Netanyahu on doing this, that he is just trying to start wars and, and push this agenda along. A lot of people refer to it as Zionism. Again, talking about this is not criticizing Israel or Jews. It's just stating um, there's a lot of talk about more, more, more uh, combat with 
Hamas, but Hezbollah and obviously Iran. And I think that things are heating up over there. You know, just after Hezbollah, uh, sorry, I get all these, all these different names mixed up sometimes. Uh, just after Hamas, uh, uh, which all of that has some, that has some suspicious things going on. But anyways, um, one of the leaders of Hamas made a video stating the reason why they did what they did. And it was because Israel was going to slaughter the red heifer and that they were going to start building the new temple. They were, they had had intel that Israel was moving forward with building the third temple. And so that's why they say that they went in on them. There's a whole lot more going on here. I'm not by any stretch of the mean, just nothing, making excuses of any kind or even certainly not supporting Hamas, Hezbollah, Iran, or anything like that. There's a whole lot more going on here. This isn't just this left-right dichotomy type of thing. There is some more serious stuff with Israel potentially leading to that, that you know, that second coming, you know, the things that are happening there. Uh, an Armageddon type of, of scenario. Uh, Trump has been very open uh, in the past administration and now uh, not just of his support of Israel, but Israel building a temple. He was the one that pushed for Israel to move the, the capital to Jerusalem. Uh, and I'm not necessarily criticizing these things because I don't like them or don't think they're right. I'm just telling you, it's just, it is what it is, folks. And it's something that we need to be paying attention to, being aware of, and being prepared for. Because um, a, a scenario where um, it looks like things are kind of coming together. It looks like there could be some kind of peace and then some massive amount, massive war that starts in the Middle East that could even end up in nuclear war could certainly, that whole scenario could certainly bring about uh, the beast system where the whole world is in chaos because of this war and the only way they see that they could come together and fix it is by, you know, giving up the sovereignty of the nations so that they could come together under one world government in peace, which brings about the whole beast system. Myself and many others and a lot of you have talked about this for a long time, that this, this scenario of, uh, that, that, is, that, that is being created and all the little pieces to the puzzle that's being created with the, the technology and the brain chips and the digital currency and everything else, it's all being set up perfectly. And so what is happening, or at least appears to be happening uh, in, re in Israel, uh, looks like that we could be headed towards that a lot sooner than we think. And folks need to be prepared for that. Folks need to be paying attention to that. Because, and I know there's a, a great varying differences of, of opinions in the, you know, Christian Bible Torah world, but um, I think it's quite likely that we will experience, um, we will experience some of that, that hardship uh, that is faced in the end times. And so we have to be prepared. That's why I talk about spiritual preparedness, why that's so critical. Uh, the, the, there's... There's just, there's so much going on. It's, it's really hard to wrap it up into one short video, but um, Israel has made it pretty clear that they're doing what they're doing um, to bring about the, 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 new, the new kingdom of Israel. Uh, and from a Christian's perspective, that's bringing about the, the, the end times, the, the beast system, the, the that sits on the throne of, of Israel, Solomon's throne, has to happen in a, in a temple that doesn't exist right now. And they are very seriously trying to bring about building that and having the control over that area. Benjamin Netanyahu is, is, is hardcore on that. And like I said, one of the previous prime ministers recently criticized calling Benjamin Netanyahu a bigger terrorist than Hamas because what he's trying to do is to disrupt the area so that they can bring about this, you know, this 
temple and you know their Zionist beliefs. You may not like my words and the things that I've said, but if you do the research, you'll find out that I'm, I'm not inaccurate in what I'm saying. Um, it's not inaccurate to say that, that, that Trump has supported this, that many of the people that's being put in his administration strongly support this, and that the real possibility of a bigger, more expanded war in the Middle East between Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Iran, and even Turkey uh, is becoming more and more likely. And when that kind of stuff happens, it's going to affect us. It's going to affect us physically um, because we don't know how broad that war will expand. Will it be that kind of quote unquote Armageddon? Um, and if that's the case, then it's also going to affect us spiritually. We need to be strongly ready for that. So while I understand that this is certainly not a topic that a lot of you agree with, and you may just hate me and disagree with me and call me, I, I've been, of all the things that I've been called by doing these videos, the number one that I have been called is anti-Semitic. I have been, I've had numerous, 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 numerous emails uh, over the years. People calling me all sorts of names that I'm, you know, this anti and I'm not. If you really knew me, you'd know that I'm absolutely not that. Um, but um, I'm also capable of being critical of things, uh, whether I support it or not. I've said that about Trump. I may support some of his policies and some of his actions, but I'm still going to be critical of him when it's necessary. We should always do that with our leadership. I mean, we should do that with like pastors of churches to just allow them to uh, rule and lead a church without being ever checked and, 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 and questioned, I don't, I don't think that that's not a good thing. And I do the same thing with what's going on in the Middle East. Um, I do believe that the big world war that's coming uh, will probably start in the Middle East uh, or start because of the Middle East. And we have to be prepared for that. It's, it's not going to be a good day when all that stuff starts happening. And you look at everything else, the economy, diseases and illegal immigration that's happened, um, it could certainly put us in a very, very bad position. And um, I think this current administration, or this new administration, and uh, what the, the leadership in Israel, I think that they want it. And uh, we have to be ready for it. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order and prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.